Hey there, plenty of pros if you're planning to fall in love from your own love seat. We spoke to a matchmaker who's making dating at home a home run in the new reality we all live in. It's the first like virtual dating platform where you can actually date from the comfort of your own home. Matchmaker Cher Gottman says there's sincere interest in falling in love, but just like working from home in the age of the coronavirus, finding that soulmate has gone digital. A lot of pressure is eliminated from uh, being able to date from home because you're able to be in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to worry about that physical um, connection. You first can build that emotional connection, build something really special, and then when it's time to finally meet in person, you know it's worth it. She says the program, Dating From Home, allows applicants to get matched up for Zoom dates. They go on 10-minute Zoom dates, and after the date, they have to decide do they who they want that second date with. But there's a catch. We then ask that person, do they accept a second date, or do they want to get set up with two new people? Now, it is 2020, so the co-founders of this new trend are taking the matches to Instagram to allow for audience interaction. Not only are we pairing people up, but you're getting to watch and be entertained. You know, everyone um, has seen all the shows on Netflix and on television, but now this is a chance to be a community and together um, enjoy watching dates happen and helping people find love and rooting them on. And there are other benefits of this new form of dating, like foregoing the uncomfortable scenarios of who's picking up the check, should we hug at the end, plus physical safety concerns are eliminated, and that kiss at the end of the date could just end up happening through an emoji. It's definitely a new way forward, and I don't think it's going to be changing anytime soon. I think more people are going to start dating from home, seeing if they like that person. Once they figure out if they like that person enough, then they'll decide to maybe meet out and about. Cher admits that in five years of matchmaking, things sure have changed. But if you embrace those changes, you could soon potentially be embracing a loved one. At home, Rachel Cole, 12 News.